Welcome to St Vincent's Private Hospital, Melbourne. We are honoured that you are considering our hospital for your treatment. Your wellness and safety is our top priority. St Vincent's Private prides itself on personalising your care to achieve the best outcome for you. Please take a moment to watch this important video to prepare you for your hospital stay. St Vincent's Private Hospital Melbourne has four campuses located in Fitzroy, East Melbourne, Kew and Werribee. The Kew campus is located at 5 Studley Avenue. There is free off-street parking and free street parking available. If you're travelling by public transport, you can catch a tram to nearby Kew Junction or take a bus directly to the hospital. The East Melbourne campus is located at 159 Grey Street. The hospital car park is located opposite the hospital in Grey Street. Hourly rates apply with a maximum daily charge. If travelling by public transport, you can catch a train to either Parliament or Jollyment stations and the hospital is a short walk away. You can also easily walk from the tram in Victoria Parade. The Fitzroy campus is located at 59 Victoria Parade. There is a multi-storey car park located directly behind the hospital. Hourly rates apply with a maximum daily charge. For public transport, you can either take a tram to St Vincent's Plaza or a train to Parliament Station. The Werribee campus is located at 240 Hoppers Lane. There is off-street parking and hourly rates apply with a maximum daily charge. Entry to the car park is off Hoppers Lane or Old Snades Road. If travelling by public transport, you can catch a Werribee Line train to Hoppers Crossing and the hospital is a short walk away. For further information on getting to a St Vincent's Hospital, visit our website. Before your hospital stay, your doctor will provide you with all the relevant information on how to register for admission. We have an online registration process accessed from our website. To register your admission online, click the online admission button on our website and follow the prompts. If you are not familiar with computers, a family member or friend may be able to assist you. If you don't have access to the internet, please call our pre-admission staff on 1300 052 602 and they will complete the online admission for you. In order to complete the registration, you'll need to gather all your relevant information from your Medicare card to your private health insurance details and details on all your current medications. Prior to your admission, the hospital will provide you with a basic estimation of your expected hospital costs. This will include an estimation of your out-of-pocket expenses and is based on information provided to us by your doctor and by you regarding your health fund. It is important to understand that this cost is only an estimation and not a final quote. Costs may vary at times due to unplanned or unforeseen variations in your treatment. If you have any questions regarding your hospital costs, we recommend you consult your doctor and health insurance provider. Many people experience anxiety or nervousness about an upcoming stay. Whilst this is normal, it may affect your ability to remember the information you are given on admission. This is why we recommend that you bring a support person to the hospital with you. This person can take notes, if required, and ask questions on your behalf. They can also help you to remember and understand information and instructions. It might also be useful to utilise this person as a primary contact point for friends and family who want to know how you are doing. Many people spend a great deal of time preparing for their hospital stay. While this is important, you also need to give due consideration to preparing yourself for your return home. The treatment, surgery and medications may have ongoing effects. As a result, you may be feeling weaker and may not be able to perform certain tasks like driving a motor vehicle. We highly recommend that you arrange to have someone stay with you during your first few days back at home. This may be your nominated support person or another family member or friend. You should also give some thought to preparing your home environment for your return. 
For further tips and advice on your stay and return home, visit our website. Before planning your stay in hospital, take a little time to plan what you need to bring with you. Some items and documents like x-rays, letters from your doctor, medications, insurance information and a method of payment are essential. While other personal items, in particular expensive or irreplaceable personal items, are often best left at home. Bring only the essential comforts you require. Also make sure that you bring all your medications in their original boxes. Do not bring Webster or pharmacy packs or sheets of medication. You must bring medication in their original boxes, along with a list of your medications from your pharmacist. At St Vincent's Private, we believe that respect and dignity is both a right and a responsibility of all staff, patients and carers. The Australian Charter of Healthcare Rights outlines your healthcare rights and what you can expect when receiving care. We look forward to caring for you at St Vincent's Private Hospital, Melbourne. For further information, please refer to our patient information book or our website. For details about your privacy and how information you supply to the hospital is used, please see the patient privacy section on our website.